guys this video let's see how docker networking works and the scope of this video is to talk only about bridge network a bridge network is basically used for containers to communicate within a host on a single machine bridge network comes in two flavors one is default bridge other one is a custom bridge we will take a couple of containers in this demo and we'll see how these two flavors work let's get started currently we are on docker host let's see let's list the networks available on this host all right we see three network objects created on this host with different names and uh, different drivers and if you check this one this one says it's bridge host and null but this video we are only focusing on uh, how bridge networking works in docker containers uh, first we're going to see how default bridge network works and later on we'll see how to create custom bridge network and how they behave for this demo let's uh, spin up a sample alpine container i'm naming this container as alpine 1 and alpine is a image alpine is a lightweight uh, docker image and we are using that for our demonstration in this case the container is up let's check the status of that container yeah, it's up and running when we spin up any container on docker host those containers by default join bridge network let me show that information by inspecting a bridge network let's see the containers running on this bridge network for that let's use docker network inspect the network name or network id if you see this container information there is a container with name alpine 1 which we created before which is part of this default bridge and let me create one more container saying alpine 2 and let's try to ping alpine 2 from alpine 1 let's name this guy as alpine 2 the container is up let's also check the status of containers you can see both the containers are up and running and once again let's run docker network inspect this time we could see two containers joined this default bridge network point to note is when we spin up container without explicitly mentioning the networking details they join default network default bridge network you could notice the ip address of both the containers there that this is the ip address of container 1 and ip address of container 2 now let's uh, sign into container 1 and let's ping the container 2 so i'm getting into alpine 1 we are in the terminal of alpine 1 from there let me ping alpine 2 with its ip yeah we see the response coming back from alpine 2 so these two containers are running on default bridge network and they are able to talk to each other with help of uh, ip address now i want to repeat this exercise using container name instead of using ip ping
alpine 2 so now i am using a container name in instead of uh, uh, the ip address now it says bad address alpine 2 the point to note is again in case of default bridge network containers can communicate with each other only with ip address not with container names that is how default bridge network works now let's examine by creating a custom bridge network and let's run these two containers on custom bridge let's try to check the ping operation using ips as well as container names let's exit and for uh, uh, let's start from clean slate for that let me remove the existing containers there docker remove f i am forcibly removing that container even if container is up and running it will stop and it will remove that this command returns back all container ids that is going to be the input for docker remove this removes all the containers for us now for second part of the demo i want to create a custom bridge network and use that for pinging the containers we are again using bridge network but this time this is custom bridge we are explicitly creating this bridge network let me give some name i am naming this one java home see that the network is created let's list out network and see yeah we have four early we had only three so this is a custom bridge network now let's repeat the exercise by joining containers using this custom bridge docker run hyphen itd name the containers alpine one this time i'm explicitly mentioning which network to join we're joining this container to java home network and the image is alpine let's inspect java home network and see whether this container joined it or not we can use network name or its id you can see that alpine one has joined a bridge network whose name is java home yeah let's spin up one more container this time the name is alpine 2 and we joined these two containers to the same custom bridge network let's inspect and see again and the containers we have two entries and both the containers have its own ip address there now let's sign in to container 1 and ping container 2 using its ip address and using its name in this case both should work docker attach alpine 1 now let's ping container 2 with its ip yeah we are able to ping with ip let's try this with container name so this time we are able to ping with container name also this is how bridge network works in docker and we have seen how custom bridge network functions and how a default bridge network functions if your containers want to communicate using their names then we should go and create a custom bridge network and they can communicate with the names thanks